Before you take your iPad for repair, you can know the error code and possibly fix it to save some money. In this video, I will explain about the common iTunes error codes and their possible solution. You might fix it yourself instead of taking it for repair. Error message code 2. Baseband circuits have problems. Power supply. Baseband power. Baseband CPU. Solution. 1. Check power supply output of baseband power. 2. Check baseband power or baseband CPU for pseudo soldering or damage. 3. Check mainboard GND resistance value. For error code 2. Only repair shops can fix them. Error message code minus 2. Please reboot with iTunes. Solution. Reboot with Apple official software. Error message code. 3. Currently, there are two progress error messages. 1. If error message appears after reboot 2 to thirds of progress, mostly it is caused by baseband CPU physical damage. 2. If error message appears in the case of reboot to 99% of progress, it means EEPROM fails to catch. Only repair shops can fix them. Error message code. 11. Check the firmware package for completeness and the firmware name for errors. Solution. Ray download new firmware. Users can download and install firmware using iTunes and 3U tools. Remessage Co. 12. Firmware shutdown verification. Solution. Ray download new firmware. Users can download and install firmware using iTunes and 3U tools. Remessage Co. 13. Check beta firmware package for completeness and USB connection for normality. Solution. 1. Ray download new firmware. 2. Replace the reboot wire or dock flex of the phone. Users can download and install firmware using iTunes and 3U tools for reboot and dock flex. Only shops can repair this. Error message code. 15. Mostly NAND has problems without ruling out NAND power supply problems. Solution. 1. Replace the NAND if it is damaged. 2. Reinstall the NAND if it has pseudo soldering. 3. Measure the mainboard GND resistance value if the path has problems or maybe the power supply is not of I. Only shops can repair this. Error message code. 16. In the path from baseband CPU to baseband EEPROM, mostly baseband EEPROM has problems. Solution. Check baseband EEPROM for pseudo soldering or damage and measure mainboard GND resistance value if the path has problems. Only shops can repair this. Remessage Co. 20. Manually entered for mode to reboot again. Solution. Manually entered for mode to reboot again. Users can enter DFU mode and restart. Repeat the process. Error message code. 23. Dayspan circuits have problem mostly caused by short circuit. Solution. Check power supply output of baseband power. Focusing on checking whether the power supply is grounded, and if it is grounded, mostly the baseband CPU is damaged, and the part underwater damage is peripheral. Only shops can repair this. Error message code. Minus 23. Error message. 23 of iPad 6 indicate the battery run out. Solution. Charge or change the battery. Users can try to charge iPad overnight if no help battery replacement is required. Error message code. 26. The path from baseband CPU to EEPROM has problems. Solution. Check baseband CPU or EEPROM for pseudo soldering or damage. And measure mainboard GND resistance value if the path has problems. Only repair shop can fix it. Error message code. 28. CPU or NAND has problems. Solution. 1. Main CPU lower layer has pseudo soldering or damage. 2. In a few cases, NAND has problems, such as pseudo soldering or damage. Only repair shop can fix it. Error message code. 29. Please check for the battery testing pins or battery damage or network problems. Solution. 1. Check the battery testing pin path. 2. Check the network. Only repair shop can fix it. Error message code. 31. Baseband circuits. Solution. 1. Check power supply output of baseband power. Focusing on checking whether the power supply is grounded, and if it is grounded, 
Mostly the baseband CPU is damaged. 2. Check baseband power or baseband CPU for pseudo soldering or damage. 3. Check main. Only repair shop can fix it. Error message code. 47. Baseband circuits have problems. Baseband EEPROM or baseband CPU. Solution. 1. Check power supply output of baseband power. Focusing on checking whether the power supply is grounded, and if it is grounded, mostly the baseband CPU is damaged. 2. Check baseband power or baseband CP. Only repair shop can fix it. Remessage Co. 48. Baseband CPU or baseband EEPROM is damaged, but baseband EEPROM is not necessarily damaged. Repair with instrument. Solution. 1. Repair with instrument as there is mismatch between baseband EEPROM and data. 2. Check baseband EEPROM or baseband CPU for pseudo soldering or damage. Only repair shop can fix it. Error message code. 50. Baseband CPU has faults. Solution. 1. Check power supply output of baseband power. Focusing on checking whether the power supply is grounded, and if it is grounded, mostly the baseband CPU is damaged. 2. Check baseband power or baseband CPU for pseudo soldering or damage. 3. Check mainboard GND resistance value to test the path. Only repair shop can fix it. Error message code. 91. NAND circuits have problems. Solution. 1. Replace the NAND if it is damaged. 2. Reinstall the NAND if it has pseudo soldering. 3. Measure the mainboard GND resistance value if the path has problems. Or maybe the power supply is not available. Only repair shop can fix it. Error message code. 1002. Baseband circuits or NAND circuits have problems. Solution. 1. Check power supply output of baseband power. Focusing on checking whether the power supply is grounded. And if it is grounded, mostly the baseband CPU is damaged. 3. Check mainboard GND resistance value to test the path. 4. Replace the NAND if it is damaged. Reinstall the NAND if it has pseudo soldering. Only repair shop can fix it. Error message code. 1003. Baseband circuits or NAND circuits have problems. Solution. 1. Check power supply output of baseband power. Focusing on checking whether the power supply is grounded, and if it is grounded, Mostly the baseband CPU is damaged. 2. Check baseband power or baseband CPU for pseudo soldering or damage. 3. Check mainboard GND resistance value to test the path. 4. Replace the NAND if it is damaged. Reinstall the NAND if it has pseudo soldering. Only repair shop can fix it. Error message code. 1005. NAND circuits have problems. Solution. 1. Replace the NAND if it is damaged. 2. Reinstall the NAND if it has pseudo soldering. 3. Measure the mainboard GND resistance value if the path has problems. Or maybe the power supply is not available. Only repair shop can fix it. Error message code. 1013. Server authentication has problems. Solution. Perform server authentication. Only repair shop can fix it. Error message code. 1015. It is an error message of degraded firmware. Reboot again after repair of computer system. Solution. Reboot again after repair of computer system. Only repair shop can fix it. Error message code. 1600. CPU circuits have problems. Solution. 1. Check main CPU for pseudo soldering or damage. 2. Check CPU power supply or power supply path elements. Only repair shop can fix it. Error message code. 1601. CPU circuits have problems. Solution. 1. Check main CPU for pseudo soldering or damage. 2. Check CPU power supply or power supply path elements. Only repair shop can fix it. Error message code. 1611. NAND circuits have problems. Solution. 1. Replace the NAND if it is damaged. 2. Reinstall the NAND if it has pseudo soldering. 3. Measure the mainboard GND resistance value if the path has problems. 
or maybe the power supply is not available. Only repair shop can fix it. Error message code. 1602. USB power supply or system has problems. Solution. Check for USB power supply or system problems. Only repair shop can fix it. Error message code. 1669. Error message 1669 will appear in the case of EEPROM data error or loss or burnout of iPhone 6S dock connector. Solution. 1. Repair with instrument as there is mismatch between baseband EEPROM and data. 2. Check baseband EEPROM for pseudo soldering or damage. 3. Corresponding parts should be replaced as baseband EEPROM and baseband CPU. Mismatch with main CPU data. Only repair shop can fix it. Error message code. 2002. Detect whether or not Apple server is connected. Such error message is associated with trial proxy server. Solution. Change the network and reconnect the Apple server. Users can reset network from settings. Then restart router and reboot device. If this does not work then repair shop. will be able to sort this error code. Error message code. 2003. Change USB or computer. Solution. Check USB circuits or computer. Users can replace USB with original Apple USB and also change the connecting port on laptop or computer and try this. Error message code. 2005. Battery has problems. Check battery connector. Solution. Check battery condition or detect the testing pin path. Only repair shop can fix it. Error message code. 2009. Change the computer to test again after a while. After dealing with NAN and or NAN power supply, error message appears repeatedly upon reboot. Solution. Check the computer. And it is better to use Apple computer for reboot to ensure stability and less error message. Only repair shop can fix it. Error message code. 3004. Battery, data wire, computer and USB interface are unstable. Solution. Check USB circuits, data wire, or computer. Users can clean the charging port with needle. Users can change USB with original Apple USB cable and also try to restore system using iTunes only. Error message code. 3014. Check computer for normal connection. Check server's SHSH backup for normality during degrading. Solution. That hosts file. DSHSH request couldn't be completed. No connection to the Apple server, Cydia server, or localhost 14 Umbrella. iTunes can't connect to gs.apple.com. Maybe port 80 and port 443 is blocked. Open it on your router. Only shops can fix this. Error message code. 3049. CPU circuits have problems. Solution. 1. Check main CPU for pseudo soldering or damage. 2. Check CPU power supply or power supply path elements. Only shops can fix this. Error message code. 4015. CPU upper layer circuits have problems. Solution. 1. Check main CPU upper layer for pseudo soldering or damage. 2. Check CPU power supply or power supply path elements. Only shops can fix this. Error 3123. Something dealing with movie rentals. Error 3191. Quick time may be corrupted. You must reinstall it before iTunes will work. Windows users also try turning off compatibility mode for QuickTime. Users can fix it. Error 3195. There is no SHSH blob for the firmware. This is the same as this device isn't eligible for the request DILT. But within cash share, users can fix it. Error 3200. You are trying to update to a firmware when in fact there is only a restore RAM disk. Shops will be able to fix it. Error 9008. Error downloading, check internet, and try again. Users can fix it. Error 11222. A security software you have installed may be conflicting with iTunes. Users can fix it by reinstalling the firmware using iTunes. Error 13019. Seems to be an issue with sensing media to the device. It only seems to happen on jailbroken devices. Create new user. Try sensing with new user's library. If that fails, restore. If it doesn't fail, then something on your iTunes library is causing the error. 
Users can fix this by RestoreOS with iTunes only. Error 20,000. This error can also be caused by the IDVIS rebooting during the extracting firmware stage of Restore. Users can fix this by RestoreOS with iTunes only. Error code 0x8000000F. Reboot your iDevice and PC, Mac with original, USB cable try again. Users can fix this by RestoreOS with iTunes only. Any other errors starting with 0xe00 can be fixed by simply reinstalling operating system using iTunes or 3U tools and users can have their working iPad after the restore. If you see any other error code do let us know in comment sections and we will try to answer you with solution.